Welcome to Glossia. Now the main points on this map is going to be around the middle here, this kind of lane here and here, and then also this kind of ridge line slash mountain area over here. Now this map I really don't like um, because the heavies you're kind of you're going to lose a lot of health going across here and also across here. Um, now you can go around behind the boat, but then as soon as you get to about here, you're going to get spotted and then you're going to lose a lot of health anyway. So slow heavies, it's almost useless this map. Um, block it if you're going to be playing a slow heavy. Just do not play this map if you plan on playing a mouse, a type 5, something like that, because it's not worth it. You can't really do anything on this map uh, in those types of tanks. Um, but heavy tanks are going to be fighting around about here. Medium tanks or tanks that have very, very good gun depression. Like you could get a super conk in the middle over here. It doesn't really matter. Um, especially considering that the majority of tanks are going to be over here moving across. Um, and just around this area in general. Um, it's kind of nice to go to the mid. Uh, the light tanks are going to try and go up to the, the top here. So always pre-aim around here. Uh, no matter what side you're on. And the TDs are going to set the back here and around here and here. Um, just anywhere that they can find a bush to sit in. Um, but yeah, that's enough Enough of the map. Let's now get into the different spots. Now, I'd like to take spot number one. Now, since this map is actually pretty symmetrical, um, for the most part, I'm not going to have to show you the other side instantly. Um, but the first spot is going to be right up here. Now, this is where you're going to see the majority of light tanks try and go. Um, the other spot is just to actively spot around here and just keep popping up on this ridge line. Um, but what you want to try and do is get up here because once you get up here, you can actually have a lot of vision um, and you're really, really hard to actually like dig out. Mainly because anyone that's following you will probably get shot right at the start as they're trying to get up. Um, and two, once you're up here, you have the spotting potential of basically everywhere around here and down here. Um, so anyone that you see is going to try and come up is going to get spotted. Um, also, you can get shots on pretty much everyone. Um, and if you come from the other side, then this this area is still really, really good. Because you can go up here and then use this to your advantage to go into this spot. And then you'll be able to spot anyone that's on this little ridge line here uh, that's going to be shooting across onto your team. So... You can basically spot everything from here. Um, you go up here, you get a little bit more. It's just great. Um, the only problem is if they do get up here, you're pretty much dead. Although there's plenty of spots where you can drop down onto your side with your team. But if your team loses either side, so if your team, say, loses down here, um, you're going to get shot at pretty easily and you won't be able to actually use this spot at all. Um, because no matter where, which side you go, you have to go up a ramp. And as soon as you go up the ramp, you're exposed to over here. So you need to be careful of that when you do use this spot. Um, but overall, this is a pretty solid spot. Um, I would recommend uh, at the start of the game um, if you're in an EBR. If you're not in an EBR and you see an EBR on the, on the other team, just don't bother. Like, there's no point. Um, you're way too slow. And considering that Jesus. Considering that um, the other team is going to be getting to the same spot as you pretty much the same time, um, it's not really going to work for you. So if you're in an EBR, you can try this. If you're not in an EBR, then maybe you want to just actively spot. And then if you see an opportunity, then go up here. But at the start of the game, just don't bother unless you're in an EBR. Or if, the, if both sides have light tanks that are tracked, then you can try it. But if you're against an EPR, don't bother. Okay, so the next light tank spot is, I was gonna try and show you something over the other side over here, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend going there. Um, this spot just here, just in the middle, is where I'd recommend you go if you can't get up to the hill. Um, just try and get as much, um, just try and be annoying to the enemy. Um, this works on both sides. Um, what you can do, People like to sit up here straight away at the start of the game to try and shoot across to enemy um, heavy tanks. 
So if they're from this side, they can shoot across here and you'll get shots from any heavies, as you'll find out in a minute when I show you the medium tanks. Um, so what you can do to counter this position is to sit here um, and you'll actually proxy spot anyone that's around here. So you can just go into here and then you can proxy spot anyone and then you can back off again and yeah, happy days, you spotted them and if they move then, then you'll get the assistance damage. But you can just be really annoying. Like you can even do like a little drive by and just grab the um, wow. Okay, that's uh, interesting. But you can grab the information and then back off again. Um, and as you can see, when you go to around about here, if you go here at the start of the game, you want to spot every heavy tank that comes across here. Like anyone that goes there and doesn't go behind this boat, as I'll show you with the heavy tanks, um, is gonna get spotted. Um, and also. The reason why I say this map is so bad is because if you have a look, all that you have to do is go up to here on the other side and go like this and you've spotted absolutely every heavy tank that's going down this lane here. So yeah, at the start of the game, if you can't get up to the top of this thing, just go to the mid and just try and be really, really annoying for the enemy. Um, and then later on, you can try and find an opening and try and do some damage in your light tanks. There isn't really a magic bush that you can sit in on this map. Um, just because this, this map isn't like that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be active spotting or you go up to the top there and just try and be ultra annoying up there. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's now move on to medium tanks now that we've spoken a little bit about them. Okay, so now medium tanks. So, at the start, middle of the map, there's... I mean, you can go up here, but honestly, I don't like this area that much. Um, if you're in, say, a more, say like a 140, or something that doesn't really have gun depression, then you can go over there, because that is more suited to you. But if you're in something that does have gun depression, and it's a medium, go to the middle of the map. Because right away, you can go here, and kind of do the light tank's job. Um, of spotting the heavies, and then you get easy shots on people that are crossing over here. Um, also, once you then, you know, have done everything there, you need to be careful when you're peeking here as well, um, because there's going to be a TD sitting there and there and there, so watch out for that, um, and any and also there and there, so be careful uh, when you are doing that. But once you, once you actually have done everything over there, then you can move over to here, um, well, once the heavies have moved on, then you can move over to here. Because from here, you'll get almost guaranteed spots. As you can see, the Leopard doesn't really have enough gun depression to deal with this too much. But it's enough. because I don't. Re I wouldn't really feel safe in the Leopard doing this. Um, I prefer it over there. But it can work, so okay. Uh, but you're guaranteed spots on anyone that's crossing. Especially as they're heavy tanks, um, you'll easily spot them as they're crossing across here. Um, so yeah, you get nice shots onto them. You could also go here at the start um, and get shots on people that are crossing here. But if you actually look at it, it's going to take longer to get here. So you wouldn't get the initial spot. Um, but that's not really going to matter because you can actually see behind this uh, this boat. So you can actually shoot people here and even spot them there as they're crossing. People might even stop behind the boat so you can get some shots on them. Um, it all just depends on how much view range you have and how much gun depression you have to deal with the middle. Um, exactly the same as for the other side, although you you can spot the heavies from here. Um, I wouldn't recommend over peeking this and trying to get shots on the heavies from here. Um, just because as soon as you peek up here to actually get enough depression to actually shoot at the heavies, then you're going to get shot by the TDs that are sitting over here, over here, everywhere around here. Um, you're going to get shot straight away, and not to mention the heavy is going to shoot back, obviously. And if they hit, then they're going to obviously do some damage to you. Um, so it's going to be quite annoying to actually get some hits on the heavies from here, which is why I recommended the spot over there, which you've already seen. Um, but also, you can then defend anyone that's trying to go up here, um, and just generally just keep peeking up, getting back down again. Be careful of artillery, you don't really want to sit in the same place for too long over here because it is quite open. Um, but yeah, watch out for this middle bit through here because that can be very, very annoying. Um, especially, you can you can get some easy damage on people that try to go through here. 
Um, but if they do have a very, very good gun depression tank, like an STB-1 or something, then they could go into here and then, you know, this bot is obsolete because they have enough gun depression to actually deal with anyone that is over here. So yeah, middle of the map is very, very nice, especially if you can get here nice and fast like Leo does. You can go up here, get easy shots on the heavies, back off again, and you're relatively safe because you're only really going to get shot at from people that are sitting over there. So do be careful of that um, when you are like peeking out like this to shoot the heavies because you're going to be peeking. And although you might not be able to see around the corner, this bit is. This bit is completely exposed to anyone that's over there. So just be careful of that. Um, also, you need to be careful of this bit here. TDs like to sit there. And also, obviously, people that are sitting over here. So yeah, the middle of the map is kind of almost your best friend in a medium tank that has gun depression. Um, and then from there, obviously, you can move on to other places that you can do damage on. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the first spot. Okay, so over this side is going to be a little bit different. Um, I don't like this side because you can't really push. Now, you can go over here, and to some people this will be fine, this will be good for them. But I don't recommend starting off over here. Unless you are in a tank where you can't really have gun depression, or you can't really use the gun depression. Um, because from here, um, you can get into, say, this position. And then from here, you can actually have pretty good shots on anyone that's already spotted over here. So, you're well and truly covered because of the trees. Um, and from here, you can have easy sniping shots on anyone that's down there. Um, and also, you'll be able to support your team if you, they get overrun there. So, it's kind of nice to be a bit of a support tank from here and just shoot across. Um, although you are only going to see half of the middle of the map because as you can see the uh, detection range is or the maximum uh, Spotting range whatever is going to be over there So you need to look out for that because you're not going to be able to see all the way over here um, And then you can move all the way up here if you so choose and you can try and push this You can try and push this as something like a 430U or something that's got a little bit more armor um, and does have enough speed Again, there's plenty of spots up here where you can actually shoot across onto people in the middle of the map. Um, this is where you're probably going to start meeting the enemies, um, for the most part, over here. Because the enemies are going to get to here, and you're going to get to around about here or over there at roughly the same time. Um, so this, this kind of corridor here is going to be where you'll meet them, um, so be careful of that. But if you do win this, you then have great shots onto anyone that's down there. So this side isn't completely useless because you do need to win this um, because if you don't win this, then you're just going to get destroyed here. Um, anyone that's sitting here is just going to get flanked on and then shot straight back. So you can actually win games pretty easily from this side. I just don't personally like it because at the start of the game, everyone is kind of here. So I don't like it for that kind of reason. And there's not really usually too much damage that goes on over here. Um, but then again, maybe I should be because I, maybe, I should, maybe I'm wrong and you should actually be killing everyone over here, then progressing forwards and then shooting down on people. Uh, but yeah, over here, it's exactly the same thing from, from this side. Um, you can help your team out. Um, and then once you obviously progress forwards and then win, you could do exactly the same, but the opposite. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of spots here that you can use. Um, there's also one very, very nice spot that this side of the map gets over here. Um, as I'm going to show you now. Basically, there's lots of these little like open bits. So you can keep peeking up and being very, very annoying. Um, but right here... You, if you can get even a light tank up here fast, then it can be quite useful. Um, you could sit in here with a light tank. The only reason why I didn't say about this is because I don't really recommend it. Just because if you're in a light tank, no matter what, you're fast enough to just keep peeking up the middle. And then you're going to get loads more spotting damage than you would if you just sat here. If nothing is happening at the middle though then you could progress back to here. Maybe. 
It just depends on how the map's playing. Usually there's not enough people over here to justify a light tank sitting in this bush, but each to their own, maybe you maybe you'll get a good use out of this bush. Maybe. Uh, but yeah, this is very nice for actually sniping people, especially TDs that are sitting in this bush here. You can easily snipe them or anyone that's even over like here. Um, yes, it's out of your render range, but you should, you'll should you still be able to shoot them. So if you want to try and blind fire some people. Um, but yeah, overall, this side, it's not too bad. It's just that you're probably not going to meet that many people. Unless the enemy team have gone, you know, mad and sent loads of people there. But yeah, that's basically medium tanks. Let's move over yeah. But yeah, that's medium tanks. Let's move on to heavy tanks now. Okay, so the heavy tanks. Yeah, this map is not very heavy tank friendly, but if you manage to get to the place, then it's not too bad once you get there. Uh, but that's a big if, because as I've shown you, there is lots of vision to be had right at the start of the game. Um, honestly, just try and get as wide as is humanly possible um, and just hope for the best. Uh, if you're in a fast heavy tank, then you've not got too much to worry like, like the 277 here. Um, but yeah, if you wanted something slower, then it's going to probably be a bit of an issue. Um, but once you get here, there's a, quite a few spots that you can actually go to. Um, the main spot is going to be just here. Now, from here, you can side scrape, you can try and go hold down. Um, like this. Um, honestly, just play however you want. But the main points is going to be here and also here and here. So this kind of corridor here and this kind of corridor here. So they're the two main points that you've got to look out for. Um, people will be crossing here. So keep that in mind as and when you're playing this map. And also people are going to be around here, especially on this corner and this corner. No one really crosses. Um, because there's not really too much of, of a point. But on the corners, you might see some people. Even TD sometimes come here. I don't really know why. Like I've seen a Borsig here before. I don't know why he's come here, but to each their own. Um, but yeah, that's the spot number one. Over, uh, If you want to keep going and go straight past this, um, you can actually get to another nice side scraping spot. Um, but before you get to it, there's another spot that you can go to, which is this kind of crossing here, um, which you could then get shots onto that corridor again. And you can also go behind this rock here and use that as a side scraping place. Um, but yeah, plenty of spots to kind of shoot people from. Uh, it is kind of a little bit um, biased to this side of the map. Um, because they can get further forced than you can. Um, but this is another spot. As I was saying, this is the side scraping spot that I would use if you're going to use it as a um, heavy tank. This is where they'll come through. Near enough, every heavy tank is going to come through this spot here. So this right here is where they're going to come through. So keep that in mind because you don't want to overpeak this. You come around this corner and you come too far and then you're like, oh, because there's going to be like, five, six heavy tanks just looking at you, um, and then you're dead. So yeah, don't overpeak this ever, um, be careful. Uh, let's now show you the other side of the map. Okay, so from the other side, um, as you can see, well, first time we've actually shown the other side, but as you can see, it's pretty open, yeah. Um, what I'd recommend is everyone to go behind this boat. There's no point of not going behind this boat because Honestly, it's not that much slower. Um, and just try and stay as far back as is possible. Um, once you get to this point, you're then going to be exposed. Because no matter what, as you can see, anyone that has decent view range is going to spot you. No matter what tank you're in. Um, if you're moving, you're going to get spotted. Um, anyone that has over you know 500 meters view range, that's, easy, that's an easy spot for them. Um, but yeah, once you're here, that's the spot that I told you about, and you can then use this spot right here to shoot the enemies that are on the first spot that I showed you over there. Um, so overall, this spot's good. Uh, you can then go to this spot if you want to, um, and also use that spot as well. But yeah, just keep peeking like this. Um, 
well, not like that, but just keep peeking and just you'll get you'll get damage. There's no real hold down spots like you can kind of go hold down on that if you're kind of facing like this. Um, but then you're going to get shot from the side. So, yeah, it there's not really too many hold down spots. Um, so, yeah, but this is honestly quite fun for heavy tanks. Um, this corner of the map. It's just once you win, there's nowhere really to go. Um, if they've got TD sitting in the back of the map, and you've got one person alive in the middle, there's nothing you can really do. Even if you have like six t heavy tanks still that are going to patrol forwards here, they get spotted, TDs are just going to have a field day on you. Exactly the same thing here. TDs sit in the back here, just shoot you instantly. Um, you know, you don't even need to really have uh, someone in the middle of the map because you can just have someone that's spotting with binos on a TD and you're dead because they'll spot you. So it's kind of hard to get out of unless your team is elsewhere at the same time because you're just going to get spotted and they'll kill you. Um, but yeah, that's Glacier for Heavy Tanks. You know, great map design. Uh, yeah, I really, really don't like this map. Um, not just for Heavy Tanks, I just don't like it in general. I don't like how it plays, how it uh, flows. It's just horrible. Uh, but yeah, let's now move on to the TDs finally. Okay, so finally for the TDs. Now, the TDs are just going to be sitting at the back of the map. Let's be honest. Like, there's not really any point of going anywhere else. Um, there is that spot over there that you can go to, um, which I've already kind of shown you where you can, um, what you can see from over there. Um, but this spot is where I'd recommend you start uh, because you can then shoot any light tanks that's coming up over here. Um, as well as, you know, you've got very, very good vision. Um, you can almost kind of see over there as well from your um, maximum like render distance. Um, now, you can go over this way and try and snipe people at the middle, um, which can work. It's just that you have a very, very limited kind of vision. So you're going to have to be quite fast with how you actually shoot them as they come up. Um, or alternatively there is the spot over there which I'll go to now as you can see you will see pretty much the entire middle uh, of the map and that is the spot over there which I was talking about so you can go all the way back to here and then shoot the person that is there and you will not get spotted in return because you're outside of the rent uh, well their spotting range um, you will however get spotted if someone comes up there but for the most part, you're actually pretty safe here because as you can see, because as you can see, you're pretty much on the edge of their render distance or their spotting, um, their spotting range. You're pretty much on the edge of their spotting range. So you're pretty safe. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it over here. Just go to whichever spot you like. You can go up there and there are a few spots you can go to like elsewhere. Um, but honestly, this is the main spots and I don't really want to make this video ultra long, um, cause it's already long enough. Um, so yeah, these are the main spots that I would recommend you go to, um, try these out, see how you get on. Um, and yeah, if you let, let me know if you find any other spots that you think are really, really good. Um, but yeah, let's move on to the other side of the map quickly. Okay. So over the other side of the map, the main spot is going to be over here. Um, just simply because this is where you'll be able to see the whole map. Um, over this bit here is going to be best for people that are pushing here. Um, this spot right here is best for shooting the light tank early on in the game if they're going to be pushing up to this. And also you can then kind of see all of this bit here. Um, you also have very, very solid cover with this rock. Um, so you could try and snipe people that are there. Although what you can do is actually knock this tree down. Um, and as long as you knock it kind of like towards the rock, um, you're going to have to actually knock this tree down to get it fully. Um, but you can knock it like this, and then you can sit in the tree um, and not only get the first shot onto there, but you can also kind of push forwards a little bit, um, and you're kind of got camo. Um, you don't have lots of camo, but you can use that to your advantage. Just don't bother exposing this much because it's not worth it. 
But anyone that's on this main kind of ridge line here, what you can do is pull all the way back like this, wait for the bush to become solid. Yes, I know. Um, and then you'll be able to shoot through it and not get spotted. Um, which ironically, I am now spotted because there's an RT behind me. So yeah, that's Glacier done. If you did enjoy this video, then you know what to do. If you didn't, leave a comment, tell me how I can prove. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.